Something happens to you when you're in the studio with a band like Steely Dan. For David Page, it was Katie Lied, Pretzel Logic. And we talk about that and more on Rock History Music. You know, uh, Michael Lomardian told me that, uh, and you probably know the story, that the reason Christopher Cross didn't want to work with him for the solo album, but when he heard he had been on a Steely Dan album, which was one of Christopher Cross's favorite uh, bands, he said, come on in, produce my albums. What was what was that... Uh, what was your experience like? Like 1974, Pretzel Logic, uh, Michael Lamartine was there. Uh, yeah, that's right. Uh, I have a bit utmost respect for Michael Lamartine. He's like my one of my top five ultimate keyboard players. You know, so uh, uh, I played on the Pretzel Logic album. I did Night by Night with Steely Dan, and of course, Martin did all the rest. You know, as well as Katie Lied, I did. Uh, uh, Black Friday and Dr. Wu on that album. And um, and uh, uh, I don't know if they, I think they were using Michael at that time. And uh, he was just, uh, uh, he was a great, uh, that was a great uh, uh, union, him and Christopher Cross together. I still like listening to those songs. Well, very well produced and very musical. And, uh, and uh, you can really tell us Michael O'Marty. And I know that uh, Jeff, and uh, Hungate and Lukather played on uh, several of those uh, uh, Christopher Cross things. So uh, we've been cross pollinating here for a while here with uh, between the uh, Doobies and uh, uh, Christopher Cross and Michael McDonald and uh, the West, the West Coast family. You know, I find that the Toto fans who have you know welcomed me in really well as yeah. far as covering you guys, which was nice. Yeah. <laughs> but anyway, they they're a different breed. They're the most uh, loyal people that I've ever run into through talking to all the different rockers about their fans, the Toto fans, they're there, man. They're there for you. They are. They're so loyal and, and it means so much to us. We're so grateful and we're so blessed that we have fans that are loyal and been keeping us going all these years, you know, and uh, it's, it would make, it's the real reward is to go out when you go touring and you keep seeing these familiar faces that have been there for years have just keep coming back and keep coming back. And it's almost like a one, one big family, you know? So it's very, uh, uh, total is very global and we have uh, fans all over the world and fans that travel from all over the world to see these concerts and stuff. So, uh, uh, uh we're, like I said, we're very grateful to our loyal fans. Where did the album cover for the, the, that album, I mean, I'm looking and there's like, there's uh, her, her ruby slippers are there. and Yeah, that's where, right. Where you, got all that, you got some of that. Those are, yeah. that was my wife. Cause I, I first, the first title was going to be Broken Toys. And it was going to be a little bit larger with skateboards and bicycles and stuff like that. But then I said, I, I, I saw the movie uh, To Kill a Mockingbird where they open up to see the first scene is a little cigar box with little toys in it, you know? So my wife got the idea, well, let's, let's just get all of her collectibles and artifacts and little things she's kept over the years. And so she put them in a box together. Now, my wife used to do tabletop design for commercials, uh, food commercials and stuff. She was a food stylist. So she knows how to go up, get up close with lots of little detailed objects like that. And she just re went in her treasure box and pulled out all these little things which we're going to try and put a put a little detailed uh, a silhouetted maps come out sometime and t number them and tell what all each of the little pieces are. Yes, uh, that would you be know? great. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So anyway, it came from my wife, my wife's art direction. Forgotten Toys is the brand new EP from David Page. It's a long time coming. He spent his whole life working with a whole bunch of musicians. We'll have links to the Toto website where you can pick it up in the description. Make sure you like our video. Keep in mind, the entire first interview is online right now. We'll have a link to it. And keep looking back for links to the brand new interview in its entirety. We'll be having that up in the next couple of weeks. And there'll be a link in the description. Subscribe to our channel, share our videos, and comment. I'm John Bowden. This is Rock History Music. Take care of yourself.